Okay, so you've just got your AKS, but you're not sure how to get into the configurations. This is a video that's gonna show you how to access your web GUI and mess around and poke around with all the configurations you might be utilizing. So first thing first is connect to the AKS. We're gonna to go to our settings. Now the AKS creates a network, which you're gonna to have to connect to. Here you can see it's titled Rat Pack AKS. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Now my iPad automatically connects, but if it asks for a password, the password is quiet on set, all lowercase, no spaces. Another note is under the Rat Pack AKS Wi-Fi network, it says no internet connection. This is fine as you are not trying to connect to the network, the internet, just the network that the AKS creates. So now that we've connected to the AKS, we open up a web browser and we're gonna put in the IP address of your device. The default IP is 10.10.100.254. Notice that you're directed to our Rat Pack Constellation page. This page gives you an overview of all devices that are connected to your iPad. If you have one AKS or multiple AKSs, including satellites, all of them would show here in a list format, which gives you an overview of your node name, IP address, battery percentage, wireless options, and protocol and universe options. So the first thing you wanna do is select whichever protocol you're gonna utilize the AKS in. Notice on the right side of your constellation, you have protocol slash universe settings. This is where you allocate whether it's gonna run an SACN or ArtNet and select the proper universe. You also have a CRMX broadcasting option here to go from either 10 to 250 milliwatts. Now that I've changed the power options, always be sure to apply. Notice at the bottom it says operation done. No need for a device restart or anything of that matter for those type of changes. Now let's move on. Main settings. In your main settings page, you're gonna see what mode your AKS is being used in. Here you can see host slash access point. It also gives you an IP address and your battery percentage. Now, if you notice, if you do not want to use your AKS link button, the physical button itself on the unit, or maybe it's not around you and you just want to use the iPad, you have ID, link, and unlink options right under your host, IP, mode, and battery percentage readings. Beyond that, you have your AKS ArtNet slash SACN settings. This is where you can change your node name in case you have multiple devices and you don't want to get them mixed up. This node name would be reflected on your Rat Pack Constellation page. So if you have a bunch of satellites or AKSs, it'd be good to name them all a different name. That way you can identify them more easily. Back to your main settings page, you also have CRMX power level, which was available on Constellation. Your DMX port behavior, which is only used in your Rat Pack AKS Plus with the three pin DMX port. This is where you would select your port behavior, whether you want your DMX port to act as an input or an output, as well as an option to disable the CRMX during this functionality. Always be sure to apply every setting you change. Moving on to Wi-Fi client settings. This is an important page because if you, for some reason, change the SSID of your host, you would have to manually on your clients search that SSID here in this AP SSID box. Now this is necessary to communicate in host and client mode only if you change the SSID of your host. Moving on to the next tab would be instructions and help. This is a great link to a lot of information regarding setup, uh, access point indicators, LED references, and even some links to some guides down below. So if you have more questions beyond our videos, please refer to your instructions and help tab and you should be guided to the proper selection. Device management. This gives you a good overview of where your firmware is at. Up top, you have version 368 and your SAMD 5.h. This tells you where your Wi-Fi module and your SAMD are at firmware-wise in your AKS. There is also an option to restart your module here in some cases, when you update your firmware or make major changes to your configurations, it will prompt you to restart your module, which is done in device management. And back to your constellation page, where all of your major configurations are done, 
regarding your protocol universe allocations, your CRMX options, and your IP addresses.